Okay guys, we're back. Um, if you watched the last video on cooking this brisket, I told you that we was going to make some burnt ends. This is that brisket, and we're going to make the burnt ends. Now I'm going to tell you something. This is one of my favorite parts of a brisket. This is going to come out nice. Uh, we just made one here not long ago with a chuck roast. This is going to be for the actual brisket burnt ends. Let's watch this process. I've already taken a point off of that brisket and I've cut it down the middle and you can see the back side of this. And what we're going to do is, is we're going to make one inch cubes roughly. Okay. We're just going to take and slice it down. Just like so, you get this one done. Well, folks, if you've not had burn ends before, which I'm sure a lot of you is probably watching this, you have. But if you have never had burn ends before, I strongly urge you to, to try, okay? And this is what we're looking for right here. Little one inch piece, okay? All the way down. I'm gonna go ahead and finish cut, uh, cutting these and I'll be back in a few minutes and we'll start the, the next process of some seasonings. See you back in a couple minutes. back I've got all this cut up and I just wanted to show you look at this you see these smoke ring in there now this brisket's been sitting out for about 35 40 minutes and uh, it is just still moist so anyways now that I'm done playing with that let's meet our star players on this one we're gonna do a touch-up of uh, some Elk Creek uh, gold dust we're going to use a whole stick of butter. And the butter in this, when we get to that, I'll tell you why. Okay? And Kansas City Slap Barbecue Sauce. Folks, this is good stuff here. Okay? If I could buy it by the gallons, I probably would. Um, this has got nice and sweet taste. Now, if you watched me when I did my burn ends on the chuck roast, I put brown sugar and all that in there. You don't need to do this with this. Okay? This has got everything in there. Um, I don't know if it's got brown sugar in it, but what I'm saying is, is it's got a nice sweet taste to it that's got a little heat in the end, and it's really good. That's not a hot, it's just a little warm, but it blends in really nice. Okay? Alright, we're going to sprinkle a little bit of this gold dust in here. Okay? Just going to lightly toss this around a little bit. barbecue sauce you don't want to fill up the whole pan you just want enough to cover the sides okay so come over here and watch this this stuff is really really super good this up a little bit yeah that's looking pretty nice okay a tad bit more Now, I'm going to put butter in here. Why am I putting butter in this? Well, I'm going to tell you why. Personally, putting butter in here 
gives it a nice taste and it also remoistens that a little bit okay it gets it into that meat and you'll taste it in there when it's done um, put a whole stick of butter in there I'm gonna go ahead and cover this up with tin foil and I'll meet you down at the smoke shack okay guys we're out here at the smoke shack let's get these burn ends on get these ready I got the, the Traeger set at 230 degrees. We're not gonna let these cook for more than an hour, okay? Get these put on. I'll see you back here in an hour, and uh, we're gonna have some burn ends. See you back in a minute. All right, welcome back to Wally Smoke Shack. Burn ends, they've been on for an hour, and take a look at these. Guys, you can put these on sandwiches. I've got them plated up with some potatoes. You can make mashed potatoes. However you want to do it. But these things taste awesome. And I want to try a bite real quick. Hmm. Oh, another bite. No. Those are phenomenal. Guys, I highly recommend you try this. Again, this came off that brisket we just cooked on the last video. These videos are back to back, same brisket. Um, take your time when you're cooking them. Low and slow. This took an hour to cook these burnt ends. Uh, thanks for watching Wally Smoke Shack, and we'll see you back here again.